Fresno State offensive lineman Natani Muti, the number one interior offensive lineman on the PFF draft board and the only interior offensive lineman I know in this draft class with the YouTube highlight reel for a single season that's over six minutes long. His tape, it's incredibly fun to watch. Let's kick it to the pros and cons. Tani Muti is a man amongst boys. 315 pounds. He did 44 reps at the combine and was upset about it. He thought he was going to break the record. That's how strong this guy is. And he has lower body explosiveness as well. And his only full single season in college back in 2017. That's as a redshirt freshman. He trailed only Quentin Nelson among guards in terms of big time blocks. This guy was throwing people around as a 19 and 20 year old back at Fresno State a couple years ago. He also has strength throughout his lower half and the nastiness that the coaches love. He finishes a lot of blocks on the ground. This guy looks like a sure thing to translate in the running game. And even still, he's been pretty darn good in terms of pass protection throughout his career over the past two seasons on almost 200 pass blocking snaps. He has only allowed three pressures in those games and he played the Power 5 schools on his schedule early in those seasons before injury. So it was no slouch, the competition he was going up against the past two seasons. Now let's kick it to the cons where we really can't bring up anything else first other than the injuries. Only played 318 snaps over the past two seasons. Only played 19 games his entire college career. Had an Achilles injury in 2018. A Liz Frank injury this past year. Those are worrisome. Those have to get vetted. If the guy can't see the field, he's not going to be worth a damn to your offense in the NFL. He also has short arms, even for a guard, under 32 inches in his arm length. Yes, that helped with his bench press reps, and it helps to have that length to be able to fend off defense tackles in pass protection, engage on blocks. He doesn't quite have it. That's not, to me, the biggest worry in the world, though, because that's been the case his whole life, and he's still played some elite-level football with those short arms. And he's not the most agile of guard. He is much, much better in a phone booth, plays with a pretty wide base, and that limits his recovery ability in pass protection. When guys really get on his side, you see it at times. So those are all kind of smaller issues that are worrisome. And then again, the level of competition that first year at Fresno State, not going to be the best. So the player comp for him is Will Hernandez, the second round pick for the New York Giants a couple years ago, coming out of UTEP, a burly dude, people mover through and through, who also, you know, the anchor and that strength translates to pass protection in terms of guys aren't going through him. You're going to have to go around Will Hernandez and you're going to have to go around Natani Muti. So the bottom line for the Fresno State prospect, his tape is special. And as a redshirt, considering it came, the majority of it as a redshirt freshman makes it that much more special because you do not see guys that physically dominant and that physically imposing at that young of an age. The biggest question right now becomes, can he stay healthy? You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.